Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for joining me. I'm here to uh, share just a few uh, ideas of what I've been using. A couple of the products I received in my last bbcraft.com order. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you what I'm doing with the little envelopes that I ordered. They were these pretty little envelope sets and they came with a little uh, craft you know cardstock envelope and a paper flower some jute twine in this little note this is especially for you each in their individual little packages and also another item I received was this uh, kind of uh, trim here with its jute twine and a ribbon uh, leaf vine that's green and they're kind of braided together and I noticed as I was using them or using this trim it actually has a front and a back so like this is the front where you see the front of the leaves because I was I glued it down on something here and I'll show you so it made it it's nice and flat on the back here so it was easy to glue down onto something and then I also uh, I haven't sewn through it but I thought it, you could actually sew through this to maybe the middle of it and uh, I think my sewing machine, I don't think it would have a problem going through there. I haven't tried it yet though. But what I did try was a couple of things with this these two products. So I first of all, I took one of the little cards out. See that each of these little envelopes come like this. Like this is what's in the envelope. A little paper flower. The little note that says especially for you. This is the envelope. And inside of each one, there's a little... Card, kind of like the size of a business card and this is a little packing there I found that in another one too <laughs> but uh, yeah so I just took I wanted to just see what you know what I might want to do if I was just kind of crafting and kind of seeing you know experimenting I took the card out of one of them and I made this little tag just cut the corners off and I glued uh, the, the, that when I cut the corners off, I glued it down onto a piece of wallpaper and then just cut it out, you know, as tag shape, sewed around it. And so it was this little floral wallpaper and you see it's cardstock on the back, black thread and punched a little hole for the tag. But uh, the flowers, I thought, let me try to see if I could make this, uh, put this little vine on here, the green vine in this trim and make it kind of like almost like 3d little vine there so that's what i did i just glued some of that ribbon twine ribbon uh leaf vine there down on with fabric tack onto the tag i cut one of the little notes this little note here i cut it into a banner shape just see that i made a little tails right there and then put a piece another piece of the little ribbon here as the tag topper and the twine, I unwound it because I wanted to see, you know, what all was involved in that twine, <laughs> in that trim. And so I took a piece of that. It's nice and thin, so you can really work with it and do different things with it. It's not too, you know, some of them are thicker, which we use sometimes in certain crafts. But sometimes we want a thinner jute twine. And this was nice and thin, so I just tied a little bow there. And so I have myself a pretty little tag. And that envelope, I think I did this, let's see, I don't think there's anything in here. Yeah, so the, with that envelope, I decorated here with, well, first of all, I took it because I wanted to see what it looked like sewn around. So I just took it over to my sewing machine and I sewed all around here with black thread. You can put these two little flaps flat down and carefully, you don't want to sew this down, <laughs> these little flaps here, but I carefully sewed above the flaps, and then, uh, so it folds up. I also stamped a little B, a rubber stamp. I was playing around with my rubber, rubber stamps and use of black ink, because I think that looks really good on craft colored paper and cardstock and things. And you know, you have the black thread, so I put a little rubber stamp B there, so like, I picture this as being a little journaling spot and I can glue this down. And so this could be glued down on a page or inside the cover of a journal. And then, you know, you open it up and you have a little surprise there, a little bee to greet you. And so then you close it up and these little flaps are really cool because you have a nice little closure there for your envelope. And you know, then they kind of 
pop out like that and it holds it closed. And so I picture this being put down, maybe on, like I said, on a pager in, in the inside of a cover. And then, so I could glue it down, you know, here, here, the bottom and the sides. So not only do I have a little writing spot inside, I can have a little pocket behind it. And then I decorated it with another rubber stamp here that I have that says, just a note, this one right here that I recently picked up at a thrift store. See, I put that right there. And then the paper flower, you can fluff them up or flatten them down. This one I kind of flattened pretty much and just put glue all over this bottom layer here and glued it down. See, I didn't put glue up here, but just over the bottom part here, glued it down. And I added that little bling there. I have some little purple, you know, sparkly bling. And I thought that was real pretty. So that came out really cute. That was the first one, first little set. And that's how I used that. And then the second little set I took out, and here's the two pieces, the inside little part, and then the uh, envelope. So I, on this one, I just decorated it. I left the whole flower. See, on this one, I cut the, use my little wire cutters here, just these little jewelry wire cutters, and this little flower. You see it has a little wire on it there. On this one, I cut the wire off, okay? So, but this one I left the wire on. I wanted to see what it would look like with a little stem there. And I put some of the, I kept the, a piece of the trim, this trim here, intact, you know. I just took a fresh piece off, put some Fabri-Tac down here and glued a piece on here as a little trim. And then glued the whole flower down, again, flattening it out, adding a little piece of pink sparkly bling there in the number six. And then I called it done because I just thought it was a cute little journaling card. And then here's the envelope. No, here's the envelope on this one. Where I uh, didn't sew on this one, I distressed around it because I decorated this one with mushrooms and I thought it just went so well with the mushrooms and the distressing. And I even distressed the little flaps right here. I'm getting the hiccups. I think I'm not breathing correctly when I'm talking. But anyway, uh, then I put a piece of wallpaper. I had a scrap piece of wallpaper here sitting here from the tag, you know, that I just had made. And put that here, the little scrap, and cut out the little... Actually, I discovered that these are actually little stickers. These little notes that come with it that say, especially for you, they're actually stickers. I discovered that when I was cutting this one into a banner shape, and I noticed that it um, I thought maybe the back could peel off and sure enough, it's actually a little sticker. So isn't that cute and handy? Uh, so I just layered it with that wallpaper, added a couple of mushrooms cut out from a book that I recently picked up and showed it in my Thrifty Thursday. It was the North American Wildlife book in case you saw that. It's such a beautiful book and then I went straight for the mushrooms to cut those out. So yeah, I put the rest away already, but I had a stack of mushrooms here and decorated in a number five. So that's the same. See, that was, I, let me hold up close so you can see the distressing because it's it's really pretty with a distressing. It's vintage photo on this craft colored envelope. So this would be another one that I would glue down. And inside here, I put a little frog to um, greet whoever writes in here and have a little greeting from a cute little frog there. <laughs> so, and the frog went along with the mushrooms, I thought. So... Again, your little flaps, and you just so easy to close it up, and nice and handy to keep that closed. So that was the second little set I worked with, and then I have a pulled out another one here, and I wanted to kind of see. Um, let's see, did I already use the card? Uh, I don't know what I do with that card. Let's see, one, two, three, four. I don't know what I do with that card. Oh, it's still in here. <laughs> so yeah, here it is. It was disappeared, blended into the background there, but. Let's see, I thought maybe this one, I wanted to see. I haven't even poked the little flaps out yet. You just poke them right out, and then these fold in, fold that down. And you can, I thought, you know, you could have it go either way. So I think it's like supposed, maybe this is supposed to be upright, but you could actually even turn it around and have it open either way, I thought. So, um... Yeah, I've been just using it like this. But I thought, what if I want to actually use it for its intended purpose? You know, maybe a gift card or something. Uh, let me just put it together maybe the way 
um, it was attended and see what that looks like. <laughs> so, wow, we're going to actually do what it, something with, that it was attended for, right? But it's so fun to experiment and do different things with things. So this is the little wired paper flower. Let's fluff this one up. Actually, I just flattened it a little bit, but let's see how it looks. You know, if I was going to put this in Happy Mail or on a gift. Let me see how this fluffs up. Fluffs up. Um, I've fluffed up many a Christmas tree, so I'm sure I can fluff up, fluff up a paper flower here. <laughs> I used to work in retail, and um, the store I worked at, it was my second job, and the store I worked at, uh, they just put the stuff out on the, sh sometimes they got in such a hurry, they would have all these little mini Christmas trees and put them up on the shelf and not do anything with them. I'm like, nobody's going to buy these. They look like, you know, they don't look very good. They're all kind of smashed and just fresh from the box. And so I went around and I had, you know, I really enjoyed doing things like that in the store, making things pretty and fluffing up the Christmas trees. <laughs> and then I thought, well, somebody's going to buy it now because it's so pretty. But uh, anyway, here's a little bit of fluffing here that I've done with this little flower kind of just separating the little leaves and petals pulling them up they're just paper so you kind of just have to work with it but you know I think they're really pretty whether they're fluffed or flattened so there we go it's pretty fluffy there not you know too fluffy but you know I don't want to take up too much time on video so yeah this is all from BB craft my last order and I will have their website linked below and all the products and a coupon for you for um, $5 off an order of $40 or more. And uh, what else? If you're interested in the YouTube program, just there's a link also under my video where you can apply. For that, you just have to have a, um, you know, a YouTube tube channel that has 100 or more subscribers and then you can apply to the bb craft youtube program where you know you place in they let you place an order and then you demonstrate their vid their products with an unboxing and two demonstration videos so i've really enjoyed it and i they have so many products on their website that it's just been so fun, you know, and I try to pick out products that I'm going to actually be able to use in my journals, so, and in my paper crafting, so that has been a lot of fun. Okay, so here's the flower. If I was actually going to use this, I didn't glue this down. I want to see what it looks like with this and use this as a sticker. I did use this as a sticker here, but on this one, I glued it down because at this point, I didn't realize it was a sticker. So now that I know that it's a sticker, I really like uh, the banner, but I really feel like it needs something behind it. Let me see what I have here to put behind it. I might grab a little piece of wallpaper. Again, I have some right here. Let's grab a piece of wallpaper, and this has some pink flowers. And let's see if we can cut out something to go behind that sticker because it just looks like it needs some color behind it just so it could stand out on this craft colored envelope so let's see how do i want to i think i will make this into i can make this into a little banner you know what i could do is cut out this little flower well i don't want i think i need this is a flower i don't want two competing flowers with each other so Let's um, make this into a little banner shape. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this like this and like this. So this can be a little banner. And uh, let me see. Let's trim it up there. And I think, right, let's see if I want, I think I want this under. Let's put this under, kind of like that. Okay, I'm going to glue this down with some art glitter glue here real quick. And, yeah, I'll have one more video for you of the other two things I ordered. 
which are I'm super excited. I can't wait to try them out because I can make one was an earring set that I want to make earrings, but I also think that the earring sets on BB Craft and they have several. You could make just make yourself some bead dangles for your journals. You know, I think that would be super fun. So this I'm going to put under here as a little background for our our little note because we need it to stand out. And then this I'm going to let's see how I want to do this. I think I want to even it up because see how we have this long piece here with nothing on it. I'm going to cut it right here. And I think I will. It looks cute like that. But I think I'm going to snip off the corners like this. Just give it a little shape. Or you could snip off the corners with a corner rounder too. Make it look like a kind of like a ticket. Uh, not exactly even there, Sherry. <laughs> we'll do that a little bit more. A little more snipping. Let's see if I can get a little bit more even looking. Okay. That's cute shape. Kind of like a little label looking shape. And then if I can, I've learned to just with these stickers, sometimes that are where the, the sticker is even with the front, just flick it a little bit and it comes, you know, starts coming loose. So usually that works. Yeah, see, it just started coming loose there. And this one, it actually has that shape. Okay. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to get the shape I cut because it just kind of, it's just naturally shaped like this, but I cut off the end because I really think it was too long for what I'm doing here. But um, this is the natural shape of it when I peel the sticker off. So I want to, let me see, is this actually, okay, this actually comes off too. Okay, well that gives me a good shape actually, better than what I cut. So let me put it down so you can see. So I'm going to put this over the wire. I put the wallpaper under the wire. I'm going to put this over the wire and that'll hold that, that wire down and still like the flower can have a little trim there. So I think that's really cute too. So there's so many things I'm sure that you could think of, it, you know, to do with something like this, but that's just some of my ideas so far. And then I have the little card where I can write a note and put that inside if I'm saying, you know, if it's using it as a, a thank you or a gift, you know, and I can add a gift card in there. So just a cute little set. And here's what we just did. And then here's all the things that I did before I turned on the camera. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's, these are all from bbcraft.com. And if you want to check out the website, um, that you will be surprised if you haven't ever checked it out, you will be amazed at how many things they have. Uh, just uh, everything and just be sure to if you if you don't see it right off use the search bar because there's so many things to in pages to look through sometimes it helps to use the search bar and just go right to the thing you're looking for right so thanks for watching today I hope you enjoyed the ideas I had for these products and I'll be back with an, you in the next demonstration video and also see you in my next video so thanks for watching today. Happy crafting and have a great day.